what is implantation now you all know the meaning of implantation an embryo which has a from about 32 to 64 blastomeres which is referred to as the blastocyst you all are aware of a hollow embryo in the human develop embryonic development which is called the blastocyst this blastocyst attaches itself to the inner uterine lining or the endometrium and this process is referred to as implantation when does implantation happen by the end of the seventh day after fertilization that means almost by eight days it's completed that means by the end of i'm repeating again end of the seventh day after fertilization of the ovum the process of implantation is completed the whole process may or may not but may take up to about three days time or it may happen quicker also you all know the hollow embryo which attaches to the endometrium which is called the blastocyst it first comes in contact with the endometrium wherever you see the inner cell mass you all know that the blastocyst has a group of cells inside which is called the inner cell mass or the embryonal knob so this portion of the blastocyst actually touches or comes in contact with the uterine endometrium soon after that the trophoblast or the outer layer of the blastocyst helps in the process of implantation and it forms finger-like projection called chorionic villi. Now for this we shall move on to the next slide to make you clearly understand what exactly is happening. So this is the blastocyst. Now this is the uterine lining. So let me label this here as so this is the uterine endometrium you know that the inner lining of the uterus is the endometrium now this is the blastocyst the hollow embryo in the embryonic developmental stages of human embryonic development now the outermost lining of the blastocyst as you all are aware is called the trophoblast correct and there is a cavity inside and this mass of cells which is sitting inside this is what we refer to as the embryonal knob or what is the common name of embryonal knob it is inner cell mass so this is the inner cell mass see how the blastocyst is making contact with the uterine endometrium at the region where there is inner cell mass or the embryonal knob now as soon as the blastocyst makes contact with the endometrium now this outermost layer of cells i told you that this outer layer of cells is referred to as the trophoblast the trophoblast will differentiate into a tissue a layer of a specialized mass of uh, you can call it as multinucleated mass so actually this entire structure which I just highlighted in red it contains many many nuclei in it but there are no boundaries or walls between the nuclei so it is basically a mass of multinucleate cytoplasm so this structure which is formed by the differentiation of which portion which layer gives rise to this uh, uh, new mass of multinucleate mass of protoplasm it is this outer layer this outer layer which has come in contact with the uterus differentiates into this mass of multinucleate protoplasm which we now call as synchytiotrophoblast it's a single word so synchytiotrophoblast is a mass of multinucleate cytoplasm without boundaries and notice the some parts of the trophoblast they remain just like a layer of cells see i'm highlighting it in red some parts of the trophoblast they remain cellular in nature and this portion of the trophoblast which remains cellular is referred to as the cyto trophoblast so one is a cellular mass one is a multinucleate mass so the cellular layer which remains to have or re remains 
like a layer of cells or maintains its identity as a cellular layer is called the cytotrophoblast but that part of the trophoblast which forms a multinucleate mass is referred to as the synchytiotrophoblast and very soon the synchytiotrophoblast will start developing finger like projections i'm just making it uh, appear as if it has grown and it is exhibiting finger like projections and these finger like projections of the synchytiotrophoblast are what they are referred to as the chorionic villus i have labeled one finger like projection so i am labeling it in singular otherwise it is chorionic villi so these are the major events in implantation so we saw when the blastocyst makes contact with the endometrium the uh, part of the blastocyst that is facing the endometrium is the embryonal knob or the inner cell mass isn't it and then we saw the cellular layer called trophoblast divides or differentiates into two distinct regions one is a uh, uh, a mass of protoplasm with multiple nuclei it is called the synchytiotrophoblast and the other one remains like a layer of cells it is called the cytotrophoblast the synchytiotrophoblast please all of you remember has many nuclei in it without boundary so any nuclei without cell membrane so there is no membrane between the nuclei you can't see any cells over there because it is just a mass of cytoplasm so many nuclei and such a mass of cytoplasm with many nuclei without boundaries or cell membrane between them is called a synchytiotrophoblast it is this synchytiotrophoblast as you can see it is growing into the uterine endometrium it is burying itself into the uterine endometrium and it forms finger like projections on its surface which is referred to as the chorionic villus.